guys. Heading out for my second night in a row. Uh, last night didn't do any filming. Last night was more of a uh, first time affair, trying to find some uh, new spots to shoot. Uh, went up north of Brisbane, went out the back to Mount Glorious and uh, Mount Nebo and tried to find a few little spots up there. But um, I'll probably head back there during the during the uh, daytime hours to try and do some scouting because yeah, it's always hard going to a new place when there's you can't see what you're doing. There's no light, so I'll definitely be going back out that way because it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's a bit of a beautiful spot out there. I'm sure there's some uh, places to shoot, but I just couldn't find them last night. But tonight um, I'm going to be heading west out towards uh, Wyvernhoe Dam, just west of Brisbane. Um, I've had a spot marked on my list to check out for a while now and um, uh, because I didn't do as much shooting last night, um, yeah, I'm, I'm heading out again tonight so I'm running on about four hours of sleep and a full day's work and um, yeah, so we'll see how tonight pans out. But um, yeah, now I've just got myself about an hour and 20 minutes drive to get there. Um, it's only what, quarter past eight in the evening now, so by the time we get out there, it should give me plenty of time to set up some compositions and um, hopefully get a few shots tonight. We'll see how we go. close to the highway still didn't realize uh, how busy it would be and there's actually a few lights over there so we might get a bit of ambient light uh, lighting up our foreground which might work out okay we'll see how we go but we'll have to battle that as we go um, I'll see if I can show you where we are it's pretty cool it's a bit of a, a bit of a scary sort of uh, oh, better not walk with the light in my face because I can't see but it's a bit of a Blair Witch Project sort of look. I'll see if I can show you. If you can see like these trees, I think uh, they're usually quite uh, leafy, but uh, at the moment, because the winter, they all sort of uh, look like they're dead. And there's just rows and rows and rows of them. Uh, we might have a bit of ambient light coming through from uh, Toowoomba Ooh. my bad let me turn that down Ooh, wrong way there we go uh, I think we've got a bit of a city glow from uh, Toowoomba to the west um, so a mixture of that ambient light from the streets maybe I know we might be able to get a good shot tonight, so we'll see. Uh, I'll get set up and um, I'll take a few test shots and see how we go. <laughs> pretty good as I said the, uh, the ambient light that's coming in off the uh, highway is just enough to give this like orange highlight amongst these trees oh and my camera just turned itself off give me a second oh and refocus oh, there we go there we go Milky Way as you can see is just to the right but I think I'm going to use this composition for some star trails so we'll um i'll set up some star trails and i'll just let it run and we'll see how we go uh, i might have to try and suss out another composition when it comes to uh getting the milky way but uh i'll uh i'll get the star trails running and we'll uh we'll see how she turns out 
think I saw a kangaroo. There it is. Don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it goes. No, you're not going to see it. Okay. So I've uh, set up another camera. Still got my uh, time lapse going, or star trails. Um, I've come over to another position to just try and uh, see if I can get a decent composition with the Milky Way. Um, because the Milky Way is still so high, I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm shooting vertically to uh, get the height, so I can get some foreground and get up and get some of that Milky Way into shot. Um, I found a composition where I've squeezed between the trees, uh, not not down the uh, row of the trees like like my uh, star trails that I'm doing, but uh, I found a gap uh, across them where I can get the Milky Way in and also squeeze in uh, the glow of what I think is Toowoomba. Um, I've got uh, Jupiter there and also Antares, Antares or however you want to pronounce it. Um, and it's uh, little fingers, stars coming down off that as well. So nice little composition here. Still got the uh, the lighting from the uh, highway glowing it. Um, not 100% sure if I'll keep that orange in the in my final edit or not. Might dull it down. We'll, we'll see. But um, um, it's a nice little composition as a secondary shot for tonight. <clears throat> I've uh, I've taken probably 10, 15 shots of the sky. I'll I'll probably blend those together to get a nice uh, clean Milky Way shot. And then I've done a, a, a lower ISO shot for the foreground uh, and focus on the trees so I get them nice and sharp. And I'll blend those two together to get my final shot. So hopefully it works out. Um, it's all all easily said and done here out the field. Looks good on back of camera, but we'll, we'll wait till we get get home and back get it on the computer and we'll see what we're left with. my uh, star trails and thank god the uh, lens didn't fog up and uh, check the images and they're crystal clear beautiful um, also checked my app and where my camera has been lined up and uh, it does look like I've pretty much nailed the uh, cell celestial pole so uh, yeah that'd be I can't wait to get home and uh, see if that's worked um, uh, so I finished that I uh, got my other shots as well with my other camera while that was going. Um, I've now pulled out the uh, my little flash with the little dome on top, just to do the. Uh, you know, you, you've always got to get yourself a bit of a selfie. Uh, so um, I've changed my camera to vertical mode, so I can get more sky in with the trees and myself in the foreground. Now I'll just. Uh, flip the camera around so you can see what I'm doing so there you go if I focus on the screen give me a second oh, poor. there we go so yeah there you go nice little selfie amongst the trees under the stars So yeah, it's been it's been a good night. Um, yeah, it's still early, so I'm gonna probably pack up and get home and have a, have an early night. I um, hope you enjoyed this vid, and uh, it's good to be out and about again and um, bring you guys along with me. I'll uh, try and remember to, to do it more often. It's just been really hectic and uh, trying to get time to uh, film while shooting and also then having time to edit these videos. Uh, yeah, it's uh, not easy. But um, if you like the video, make sure that you uh, subscribe. Uh, if you've got any questions about tonight's video, 
just leave them down in the comments below and um, I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, make sure you also, also like this uh, like the video because that, that also helps it get out to other people that are wanting to learn about astrophotography. And um, I'm more than happy to help out people that uh, want to learn. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next vid.